Hi, I'm David Stein on Money for the Rest of Us. This is a channel on money, investing in the economy. And today we're looking at inflation, high inflation, and which types of stocks do best during periods of high inflation. Let's go ahead and get started by looking at the latest inflation numbers. This is the Consumer Price Index in the U.S., up 6.2% in the past year. The Consumer Price Index measures the cost of living. It's based on over 200 reference goods and services that are included in a basket, and then those prices are looked at to see how they're changing from one period to the next. 6.2% inflation is the highest level of inflation since the early 1990s. And what's scary about it is a big portion of it, it's what is known as core inflation. Typically goods and services where the prices don't change that much. We have more volatile energy and food prices and energy has certainly contributed to the higher inflation. But the core inflation is a big component. You can see that that's going up. It's stickier. One third of inflation is rents, rent on apartments, the owner's equivalent rent on a house. Because home prices have increased so much over the past year, rent tends to lag. Now landlords are starting to raise the rent and that is flowing through in the inflation numbers. The other thing that's starting to impact inflation is higher wages. As workers see prices go up, they want more pay. They ask for it and then their employers pass along some of those higher wages in the form of higher prices for goods and services and that feeds into higher inflation. You can see the connection there in that chart. So here we are with a period of high inflation. Some of the highest inflation numbers we've seen in a very, very long time. And so it's important to understand, well, what should we own? I did a video a few weeks ago on the three best ETFs to own to protect against higher inflation and rising interest rates. So check out that video on those three best ETFs. In today's video, we're looking at stocks. Which types of stocks do best during periods of high inflation? We'll start with this data from Ned Davis Research. And this is a period looking at different levels of inflation from below 1%, 1 to 4%, 4 to 9%, and above 9%. This is US stocks, so the S&P 500 index. And you can see that during periods of low inflation, stocks do better. And stocks tend to be more expensive as measured by price to earnings ratio when inflation is low. And that's because typically when inflation is low, interest rates are low. When inflation starts to pick up, interest rates often rise and investors aren't willing to pay as much for stocks. And so the price to earnings ratio falls. During periods of high inflation, and we'll call that 4% or more, you can see stocks have barely broken even, slightly positive, but on a nominal basis. Nominal means before taking into account inflation. If we subtract the inflation from those returns, then the real returns are negative, which means investors haven't been able to keep up with inflation by investing in stocks during periods of high inflation. The best environment for stocks is when inflation is low, below 4%. Now we're in a period where inflation is 6%, and that's a concern. Now, one of the debates is how transitory or persistent this inflation will be. But the longer inflation stays, the more likely it's going to continue because, again, workers demand more money. They want higher wages, higher pay, and then employers start paying them more and raising their prices and that feeds into inflation. One of the things about inflation is as it persists, behavior changes. Households and businesses start to act different. They start to expect inflation. They might, businesses start to raise prices more thinking more inflation is coming. Consumers might start hoarding, which produces some capacity constraints. And then that, again, those capacity constraints could cause businesses to raise prices even more. And so the more inflation we have, the longer it lasts, the more likely that inflation will continue. Now, we've seen that stocks overall don't do so well during periods of high inflation. But let's consider some other type of stock strategies. This is a paper by Neville and his co-authors. It's 
the best strategies for inflationary times. It came out in May 2021. They went back to 1925 and broke up that time period into nine to, into different inflation regimes. And they identified nine high inflation regimes in which inflation was greater than 5% and rising. And then they looked at the performance of many, many different asset classes to see how they did during those periods. The best performer was commodities. Commodities did the best during periods of high inflation, but we want to focus on stocks and which stock styles or strategies did best during periods of high inflation. Turns out more growth oriented strategies. So trend following, momentum. These are stocks that are going up very, very quickly. Both in, it could be their earnings that it's depreciating, it could be the price, but they are persisting. The price continues to go up and basically you buy the fastest growing, highest, best performing stocks and, and hang on. It's a trend or a momentum strategy and that has done the best during periods of high inflation, surprisingly. And these are real returns. So after backing out inflation, both of those strategies returned 8%. The next strategy that did very well is quality, higher quality companies with low debt. Then we have a series of stocks that actually had negative real returns during periods of high inflation. Highly profitable companies, value stocks, low volatility stocks, smaller company stocks, and then long equities would be all stocks. So the best performing strategies during periods of high inflation based on this paper were higher quality, momentum oriented, or those that were exhibiting positive trends in terms of going up. Now, these are all known as factors, which are persistent drivers of returns. There are ETFs in each of those strategies. So you can buy a momentum-based ETF, or there's even momentum active-based mutual funds. But this is the type of stocks that have done best during periods of high inflation. Not all of them. Now, hopefully this period of high inflation will end, but it's important to know which strategies do best. Now, we don't necessarily just need to be in stocks. We can have exposure to commodities. We can have exposure to those ETFs that I referenced in the video a few weeks ago on the three best ETFs for fighting and combating inflation. But inflation appears to be here. We'll continue to monitor it. Hopefully it will be transitory and we'll look at other asset strategies that do well during periods of, of inflation. So stay tuned to my channel. If you liked the video, please give it a, a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave those in the comments section below. Thanks.